I'm Max Sterling, welcome to LARPgasm. Today I'm going to show you how to make an amazingly immersive light source for your high fantasy LARP. Now, I've seen this idea a few times online, but I think I can improve upon it and give you a much better product. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, the first thing you're going to need to get is one of these little pen lights. The brighter the better. This was, I believe, $2 at a store. However, you can spend as much as you care to, but like I said, the brighter the better, and definitely get an LED light. You're gonna need a little piece of quartz or crystal that is basically the same diameter as the light you're going to use. And then since it's that time of year, you're going to need one of these little guys because we're going to dismantle this. Now if you can't find one of these or if you're not watching this around that time of year, get yourself a piece of PVC pipe and you're going to need to make some alterations to it, but you can do it this way. This is going to be the much harder way though. If you find one of these, then it'll be a lot easier. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and make this awesomely immersive light source. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is tear this down, take that off, unscrew this because really we're not using this at all. We're just going to be using these parts. And you may say, well, this is already light. Why not use this? Well, this isn't nearly bright enough. You really want that LED that's inside here. Where we're at now is I've taken this, I've stripped it down, taken out all the insides, removed the button from it. And what I did was I took a small hole saw blade and I got the front of it and the back of it because our light's gonna go inside of here. I sanded it and used my shredder. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you can check my channel and see how to make one of those. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a wood texture. So we want this to look like wood. And I'm gonna go paint it right now. now. I took and I added some texture and painted it to look like wood. And of course we hot glued the actual flashlight inside of here and left this sticking out on the end. And this is the finished product. So I wanted to keep the whole thing very organic looking. So what I did was I wrapped some leather around that Halloween lantern base. I had to drill holes in it to put the pen light in and have the crystal on the end. And then I took pieces of that PVC pipe and flared it out at the end to try to make it look like a piece of wood sort of blown open on either end. And then I wrapped some just leather cord around it. Now the whole thing got painted to look like wood grain and I covered it in Mod Podge. And uh, the end result, I think, is a pretty cool looking little light. And all you have to do is just push in on this and it turns it on. And there is your very cool, very sort of fantasy looking light source. And, uh, you know, I've seen other types of these online, but I don't think, in all honesty, I've seen one this good. So I'm pretty happy with what I've created here. Now, I skipped all the boring parts, but I don't think it's that hard for you to recreate. I mean, really, you take that Halloween uh, lantern base, okay, and from there, you're going to slide these pieces of uh, PVC over the ends, cut this, fold it, paint it, wrap this in leather and then wrap this around and hit it with Mod Podge. Not that complicated to do. And of course, since we use that Halloween base and didn't just glue stuff straight to a flashlight, this will actually still unscrew from here. And if we wanted to make a bunch of different caps, we could. So if we wanted to make like a steampunk cap or something gnomish or something, or if we even just wanted to do different colors, because I know a lot of games don't like white light, they want red. Well, we can make a red one or a purple one or whatever you want to do and then just screw it back on and you could have multiple different colors. I had experimented with some different colored uh, quartz that I have and they all look very cool but white definitely kicks off the most light. So I leave the particular details up to you rather than give you a step by step but I think if you follow my channel you sort of see how I do things you should be able to recreate this yourself and if you can't all you really need to do is get one of those lights, glue the quartz to the end of it with hot glue, and just wrap some leather around it, and you'll get pretty close. But if you want something that's really sort of a step 
above, then this will get you there. Now, I also had toyed with the idea, I had uh, some rings that are uh, very sort of period authentic looking. Now, I was gonna slide maybe one of them on each end, uh, and I think it would have looked really good. But the problem is, this pipe I used actually ended up being a little bit bigger than my finger, so the rings wouldn't fit. But if I could get a ring the size of this, or the diameter of this, I could slide those on glue them in place, and I think that would look very, very uh, cool. It would take away from the organic feel of this item and move it more into sort of a, maybe a manufactured or a more sort of uh, like college wizardry type thing, Harry Potter-ish, as opposed to just sort of made in the wild type of look. But you know, you can own this and make it your own. If you use lights in the game you play, I really think you should make one of these. Uh, it beats the crap out of using a flashlight, and it's so easy. And uh, if you do it right, it's very easy to uh, still work, and you could totally make a lanyard for this or something to just wear around your neck uh, with just some twine. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me show you how bright this is. And uh, like I said, how bright it is really plays into the flashlight that you buy to begin with. This one is, I think, it's not very much. It's like three lumens or something. So if you get a really bright LED that's like 40 or 50 lumens, then you're gonna have one heck of a light. Um, but let me show you how bright this one is real quick. And so that's how bright it is. And like I said, you could totally use this to you know, read with, or you can use this to explore with, or cast spells with, you know, or whatever you're trying to do. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this project, and I really hope that you make your own. And if you do, please let me know so I can check out your creation. And uh, you know, obviously, if you like this video, click like. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social media accounts, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, all at LARPgasm. Of course, let all your friends know I'm here making these awesome projects that are going to make you stand out at your game and look like a pro. Of course, as always, adventure on.